Good morning, Misfit fans. Good this morning. is Carrie, and this is my husband, as you guys know. And we are, he has been very gracious to come out with me <laughs> on location for one of the upcoming videos that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. You probably have already seen it by now, but this is behind the scenes of what's kinda going on right now with us. Water. This is the first time that I've been here. He's been here a lot. He used to apparently fish here, so. Yeah, I was used to come here, fish, um, 5 a.m. as a little boy. <laughs> we only caught maybe two fish. I remember when my grandpa came in from Australia and uh, he got two fish and he was like, he, he literally, it was, is this big? And he cut it open and everything and he, a piece of meat was like maybe that big or something. <laughs> so. So it was kind of disappointing. Yeah. There wasn't <laughs> much meat to eat. There so. wasn't much meat. <laughs> and I like meat. Yeah. <laughs> Not a vegetarian. Sorry. But. Yes, my husband is very much that way. Anyway, but it's gorgeous here. I really like it a lot. So I'm just trying to get some video for you guys for the new Misfit Morsel that's coming out soon. Actually, it's probably already up for you guys, but for me it's going to be soon because i got to get my butt into gear and start putting this thing together. <laughs> So our adventure is done and some lessons that I learned being just like, uh, Steven and I both like to, while we're out and about, we're geeks first off I want to say. And so we like to take object lessons that we're seeing out in nature and stuff and kind of apply it to our lives. And he was like fascinated with the vultures and it was really interesting seeing them because they were just, there was only, he basically said there was only two that were really taking action. Here, I'll get you in this one too. There were two that are actually really taking action and looking around for food and then the rest of them were kind of just sitting there being buzzards and just chilling, kind of being lazy. So it was kind of interesting like, I'm sure you have noticed when you're on a group project, there's usually two people in the group that really are working hard, and then the rest are kind of, eh, I don't really wanna do this. So that was kind of interesting to see that happening in at least this group of vultures in the nature animal world. It's the same type of thing that we usually see as humans when we're working on a team. Um, another thing that I thought that was really cool is um, I'm going to be using the lock bridge as um, kind of an idea of what our dreams are locked up. And as I was seeing the vultures, which I hope I got some good video of them because it was kind of hard. They were so far away, it was hard to focus. But anyway, um, what I thought was cool is like there's always someone, if you have a dream, there's always someone there waiting to snatch it away. Mm -hmm. Like, copy or copy up. it, or something like that. Copy your original idea. <laughs> copy your original idea. I have had that happen a couple of times. Um, it's annoying, but at the same time, you always have to think. Um, at least with me, I always think, um, basically, if they had to copy my idea, then how are they going to continue on originating their own ideas because I'm the original creator? They're not gonna be able to do that. They're gonna constantly have to come back to me and copy off of me. And 
So in the long run, they're actually cheating themselves. It's not good for them because they are not creating their own content and going to be able to thrive on themselves. They're gonna have to thrive on other people and become like a parasite. So that's kind of how I've always thought about it. But I thought it was really cool to see the vultures and them kind of wanting to pick away at anything. They're just waiting. Some of them were really active waiting and then some of them were kind of just lazily waiting but at the same time you know if there was like a carcass somewhere I'm sorry if this is kind of gross and you guys out but if there's a carcass somewhere all of them would jump on it immediately and that's kind of how cheaters are they they're lazy and they don't want to take the like they don't want to go and take the initiative but as soon as someone does take the initiative they immediately jump on it so that's something that we kind of both learned today in our so, observations. Don't worry about cheaters. If somebody takes your idea about your watercolor paint or something else in life, you know. <laughs> for I'm me it's business. watercolor, but yeah. for him it's business. He's had a couple of ideas stolen and it's very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's very frustrating, but go ahead. But I was saying that I'm a business consultant and I've seen thousands of businesses fail because they copy someone else's idea. So, yeah, there you go. So. Yeah, they, they can't survive. They can't continue to survive. I mean, think about it. If those vultures, if they were denied food, they could not survive. They would die off. And I'm very thankful that we have vultures. They're basically our cleanup people yeah. for nature. Yeah. They were made that way. They were made that way. You so know, you, can't, you, know, you can't just like bum out on a vulture. But at the same time, we can learn life lessons from that vulture that are negative that unfortunately people do in their life. Yeah. So yeah, here's a picture of the inside of the dam. For those of you who are not kind of where we live, I'll turn the thing down so you can see it better. Right now we're driving through and it's really bright. So sorry if the exposure is a little off, but um, yeah, and it's windy. Clouds are gorgeous though right now. Absolutely beautiful. back in the art studio back in my house and I have a couple of things that I need to do just painting wise to finish up for this video and do some editing which is kind of boring stuff and the painting stuff you'll see in the video so I'm not going to film that but I hope you enjoyed this this is kind of just a background behind the scenes of what kind of goes on when I'm putting together a video I do a lot of kind of scripting and kind of get ideas of actually what I want to do and then I go out and I film it like you saw today and then I come back and I put it all together in this cool creative artsy way that kind of is my brain. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this once again I'm going to finish out the vlog here and I'll see you next time.